Welcome to the video. Today we're going to dig into the rear axle of Yoshi. Last time we took him to the track, I broke something in the rear end. I think it was an axle. Um, it still ran and it didn't grind, so the diff seems to be working properly. But I think I snapped the axle right off at the uh, splines. Hopefully I can extract that axle without pulling everything apart. But we're gonna get the donor axle out of the truck. Um, it's actually uh, heavier than they look. They're really small trucks, but it's surprisingly heavy. So I'm gonna get it out, get it on some jack stands, uh, drain the fluid, pull the donor axle out, and then we're gonna get Yoshi in here, um, pull the wheels off, get those axles out, and hopefully everything comes out. We got the axle in the garage. Just gotta take off these four bolts here, drain the fluid. You have to remove the axles first and then the diff will pop out, which is what I'm worried about on Yoshi uh, because I think I snapped that axle somewhere in the middle or close to the diff. So that when I pull the axle out, the diff will still be locked inside the axle. But we're gonna get this one tore down, get the axles out and then pull Yoshi in. We got the axles out, the diff out. The nice thing about uh, working on D21s is nobody's really molested them like 240s. So every diff is still open and basically factory. Everything else is perfect. I have to fix uh, the tie rod I broke in the last video on Magnus and to get it out of here so that I can get Yoshi in and get the axle out of him. Hopefully I have a spare in the shed. So I'll get those, get it swapped out, get the cars swapped out and start working on this truck. Oh my God. I did not jack this car up high enough. <laughs> oh shit. sure which side was still locked uh, the driver's side it didn't spin at all the passenger side lit up pretty quick um, so I'm hoping it's just a broken axle uh, it could be the diff but I don't think so since it's only lighting one side no matter which side I put the weight of the truck on uh, so we're gonna pull the uh, tire off get the axle out get the fluid out obviously um, hopefully fish the end of that axle out of the diff um, Easier said than done. I'm hoping I get a magnet in there just to get the stub out. We're gonna get it jacked up and hope, hope it's as easy as that sounds. All right, well, I just pulled the drain plug out and it looks to be a broken differential. I put plates in the weld, but I didn't have any gas. I figured this thing wouldn't be making enough power to shear the uh, welds away from the plates, um, but I guess I was wrong. So good thing we have a spare diff right there. Going to get uh, the axles pulled out, clean the entire case, um, get the diff out, weld the new diff, put it back in, actually use argon this time <laughs> and get it all put back together.
So I got the bolts off of the uh, diff case, but the RTV is holding it together. So I'm gonna have to massage it off. diff removed uh, the plates actually broke off a bunch of teeth um, and I don't know where the plates are they're probably in the case so <laughs> I'm gonna roll us under there <laughs> let's see a um, little bit of scarring on the back um, the axles are actually fine so that's pretty nice. Well, if you remember the last video, um, I put in these eighth inch plates um, on either end of the uh, spider gears. And I, I don't even see fragments of them, which is super strange. Um, I mean, you can kind of see down there, there's a little bit of pieces and it just it just ripped gears off um i definitely didn't get enough uh, penetration we'll swap over to the new diff from the donor truck uh get everything put back together clean out the housing i'm not gonna record any of that because you've seen it three times on this channel already so um the next clip you will be seeing is going to be me lighting these uh the old set of tires off um, all the way down to the cords and hopefully let them both go I know I said that in the last episode, but this time I'm actually just gonna hammer it down. I've got the straps on the axle still, so it helps with the wheel hop a lot. It'll be a day and a half for me, but three seconds for you. <laughs> So we sufficiently sent Yoshi, put a new set of tires on it. Gonna need to get a whole set, actually. Probably get four or six more. The fronts are pretty pretty thrashed to you. But that'll be for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, we figured out that the diff was the problem. Subscribe, leave a comment, and just keep up with your boy.